Well, hello there, children, toy collectors, and doll enthusiasts. Welcome to my channel, Thomason's Once Upon a Nursery, where all we have is fun and negative comments don't matter. I am Tamara, the keeper of the nursery, and your host, as always. Please, if you would, hit that like and subscribe. Maybe leave me some comments down below. You can like share my channel if you like this or not. I don't know. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a returning subscriber, boom! Photo you. Look at my fingers. Look at. Look. Look. There. <gasps> Love. I can't even. Here. It's. Just. Just take it. How is everyone today? I am good. I am great. I am fine. And today I am doing Wednesdays We Wear Pink. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We are hosted by Miss Shara at Reborn Living Dolls. Thank you, Miss Shara. And today I'm going to tell you about how I got into this hobby. <laughs> but first, let me introduce to you our star of our little show today. This is Marnie Coraline. Uh-huh. She is uh, so freaking cute. Look at that face. Look at those lips. Look at those eyes. I'm still having lighting issues, guys. I will figure it out. Just bear with me, please. So, um, let me show you what we're going to be putting on this little one today. If you'd like me to show you, please open your eyes. <laughs> uh, she, um, oh, see, I'm forgetting myself already. She, I got her, um, she was actually the very first doll that I ever got off of AliExpress and um, I got her from uh, NPK I do believe um, on AliExpress so. and this is her lovey and it's the the littlest fox from that book you know the littlest fox and he has stars on his back and he's got buttons for eyes and a white tummy and a stripy tail and he's got legs that you can pose so he can stand up on his toes <laughs> he's so cute we just call him fox because he's the friendliest fox so fox and today with our theme, Wednesdays we wear pink. My little love is going to be wearing this headband that I got at Walmart in the craft section. Light pink. And I get them plain like this so that I can put any bows on them that I want. Clip them on there. And this is a bow that I made. I put a ribbon around the clip. <clears throat> And then I have these little socks for her. And these came from Dollar Tree. And they have a little, a little, hang on, let me fix that so you wouldn't see the flower. Flower. And then I have these little shorts for her because even though right now it is strangely cool outside, like, it's weird, man. It's weird. Because normally, like uh, another YouTuber that I watch says, it's usually like dragon's breath outside. But lately, last three days, I've had my windows open. It's been really unseasonably cool. But these little shorts that you keep on staring at here are granimals. And they're sized um, 18 months. But... I figure that since she's going to be wearing a onesie and she has a diaper that it should fit all right. And I got these at Goodwill and this came from Auntie Timorial in our happy mail that she sent us. 
and now for the dressing the little turkey <laughs> um, and I'll tell you where I got her clothes from as I remove them that this one I show you good enough it has a little llamas on it llama 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 love of llamas thank you auntie Tamorio we love you so much as you already know Uh, the little bows came on a card with a lot of other bows from Walmart. They're pink and they're cute. Mah, 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 mah. Hello, how are you? Mah. And take this little hair down. I have weighted her um, and restuffed her. She is 24 inches long. She can't quite sit up by herself yet. That's all right, little princess girl. She's working on it. So I was gonna tell you about how I got into this hobby. And this, I'll show you up close. It came from Pat Pat. Um, it's peach colored and it's got yellow flowers white flowers and then like a, a reddish and blue flowers and then her little socks are light pink and dark pink and they have a little flower on them but i'll show you all that as i'm talking so um i got into this hobby a couple of years ago um i'm still fairly new to like a lot of things that that have to do with this community you know um and so what had happened i mean I, I i collect dolls i collect toys anyways you know i have like 15 cabbage patch kids in my storage room that are just sitting there <laughs> but um uh, there's like three that are vintage i was going to show you this up close i'm so sorry so my grandma got diagnosed with uh, dementia and I don't know for me it was kind of a hard blow because my grandma was always like my grandma and I had like a different relationship with her than like my siblings and my cousins and stuff because I lived with my grandparents so they they're more like my parents. So, but, uh, I got really, I, I had heard about therapy dolls for, um, people that were in rest homes and things. And I was, I got real curious, you know, it was like exactly what they were doing, what they were for. Cause I was like, man, these old ladies are treating these dolls like they're real, you know? And I was like, that must help with you know, their cognitive memory and helping them to be able to recognize the same face repeatedly. Anyway, so I started looking into dolls for my grandma. All right, she's okay. I'm just going to adjust her diaper. Uh... And I, I, I don't have a lot of money. Like, I don't have, like, any money. <laughs> I don't work due to mental reasons. I can't work. It has to do with my PTSD. We're not going to go there today. <clears throat> so I started looking around for different kinds of dolls and things and just... You know, just looking to see what they had, what was out there. And then I had remembered, you know, that there was like Paradise Galleries and Ashton Drake. And I was like, huh, I wonder if those places have dolls like this. And I saw a few cute ones, of course, that I was interested in for myself. But I was mainly looking for, you know, a companion for my grandma. Um, and, well, basically... I might have to pin this. 
or her neck doesn't show. Maybe. We'll see. So the the very first doll that I ever purchased ever was the Sweet as Honey from Paradise Galleries. And um at the time that I had purchased her, it was kind of already like it was too late because my grandma had passed away by then. So I never was able to get her, you know, a doll just to even see if anything like that would work for her. So, but I did try. <clears throat> so, and I do miss my grandma and I know she would have loved these dolls, but you know, things happen and you just got to move on from them. But, oh my goodness. Yeah, the shorts are like way too big too. We are going to deal with this. Let me just swing around and get my pins and I'll be right back. So, um, I, I, I still wanted the dolls, you know. And I saw the Tiny Miracles Emmy Celebration of Life Emmy, whatever on Ashton Drake and I ended up getting two of her and making them twins as you guys know um good golly girl we don't got any smaller shorts those are really really big like way bigger than I kind of had planned on well I don't really have anything else for her so we're gonna make these work it'll be all right so <clears throat> so as far as like reborns the first place I'd ever heard about a reborn was a movie it's called the truth about Emmanuel and it has uh, Jessica Beale in it and um, if you guys haven't watched it, it's an independent film. It's it's a really good film. It has a wonderful story. Oh my gosh. It's good. It's very good. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that was the first time that I had ever even heard of a, a reborn. <laughs> you know, like reborn. What's that? <laughs> my goodness. This should fit her. It's three to six months. So, I guess uh, Jessica Alba moves in next door and she has a baby with her. And there's a twist and everything's exciting and like, oh my gosh. And you just have to watch it. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> um, I still didn't really know what they were though. I mean, I knew they were dolls that people made, but you know, I don't, I didn't, um, uh, I hadn't really looked into them because I didn't, I wasn't interested, you know, the baby in the movie was pretty cool, but I mean, it was in the movie that, you know, what's in the movie stays in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that gonna work? Hold on, girl. Hold on. Okay. Marnie is gonna sit up. Sit up, Marnie. <laughs> Look at her go! Yay! Good girl. Hard to sit up for a minute. I probably should have possibly chosen something different, but uh, no, we're just going to work with it. We're just going to do what we have to. Uh, I'm going to lay her on her tummy so I can pin the back of her shorts. Let me see. Turn her head for you. Craig's going to get some tummy time. Look at that. 
So, where, um, where was I in my story? Yes, I still wanted dolls. Never heard of Reborns. <clears throat> and then, like, I started watching different channels and things, but, like, eventually, yes, of course, I did find out about Reborns and what Reborns were. But when I found out what exactly a Reborn doll was, how they have, like, artists, they're these artist-created dolls and stuff like that, I found that out when I had about 17 of my dolls, and I have 22. So, Moxie is leaning on the camera. Moxie! Anyways. So, uh, if there was an issue with these dolls legally, which there's not, I, I didn't know. It's not like, you know, we're born into this world. You know, we, I came into this world just like everybody else did without the knowledge of reborns. And if I don't know what a reborn is, how am I supposed to know to get knowledge about it? <laughs> and I don't call these reborns either. Uh, they are replicas of some reborns, but they are not reborns. They're my babies. That's all they are. That's all they need to be. They make me happy. I wish my grandma could have seen them, but... it that's all right <laughs> all right I guess we made this work <laughs> it works for me and I recently found another doll that oh my goodness I can't live without her and trying to figure out how to get her want to like sell some of my daughter's clothes or something I don't know something because I really want that doll and if I don't get her then you guys won't even know the difference anyway so I don't want to say what she is or where she is or which I'm sure you guys can probably guess where I'm gonna get her from <laughs> Oh my goodness, you are a mess, my Marnie girl. Oh, Marnie. She is from, uh, her name comes from two characters in books, too. Uh, she, her first name, Marnie, is from a book that was made into an anime, adapted into an anime by Hayao Miyazaki. Um... And the book is called When Marnie Was There. It's, it's really sweet. And then her middle name, Coraline. Um, it's after the book by Neil Gaiman. And the movie, Coraline. Coraline. Talking about my Coraline. With this little headband. She does look really cute in headbands too. Once I get them on her. The way I want to. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I'm just fixing up my baby's hair right here. <clears throat> so I know some of you guys have been in this hobby for like a really, really long time, but then there's some of us who haven't. Like, there's just so many people who some of us some are veteran doll collectors and you know 
Some of us, like I said, are just brand new to this hobby, really. Huh, I wonder how that would look. Oh, I'm, I'm figuring it out, guys. But I would really like to know how long you've been in this hobby. What is the name of your first doll that you ever bought for this hobby? Do you still have that doll? Um, and did I say how long you've been in the hobby? Yeah, I'd really like to know all that stuff. And I think we now have a winner. For little Miss Marnie. Oh, look how sweet she looks. Look at that face. I I really like her her face mold. She, it's like really different from any of the dolls I've ever seen before. So, I did like that. Close so you can see my handiwork. The hair clip I made. My beautiful, her eyes were supposed to be gray, but they're brown. Onesie that doesn't fit, shorts that don't fit, and socks. It fit just right. <laughs> All right, everybody. I love that you hung out with us today for Wednesdays We Wear Pink. I hope you will return to us every Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday when I upload a video plus bonus videos throughout the week. Um, oh, yes, uh, we will see you Saturday. See you Saturday. Ha <laughs> ha.